So guys, we just arrived to the lake and me with, together with Gwen, we will enjoy our last meal and last swim in the Czech Republic. Hey guys, welcome back to our awesome YouTube channel. Today, we are going to take you on a journey to Corfu, Greece. We will show you stunning landscapes. We will take you into adventures and we will let you in on a little secret. So by the way, Corfu is a budget-friendly island in Greece. Buckle up and subscribe and let's explore the island in Corfu, Greece. And I hope you will enjoy this video. See you! Coffee cappuccino. We are currently done with check-in and security check. I was fine with everything. I had no troubles, but Gwendy had troubles with the sleeper. The guards, security guards were thinking she's hiding something inside the sleeper. Yeah. So she had to take it off. And I, have, I had to walk barefoot, bare feet. Okay. Yeah. And now we have both stomach okay because we don't like these moments, like nervous moments in the airport. But we are fine now, we can go to the free, duty-free zone, find our gate and move on! Right now I feel like I'm in the heaven. Heaven for Czech people. <laughs> We just landed in Greece, finally it was not really smooth landing, the pilot was like very harsh. We got our bags, we went through the customs, security and now we are heading to the town, the old town, to find some grocery stores because actually we are just traveling easy just with backpacks, low budget traveling and we had to left so many things at home so we will just buy it here currently it's like 9 a.m and our accommodation our apartment will be ready at 3 p.m so we still have like six hours left to explore the city get in touch how it works here join us on our exploration and enjoy the greece we are in Lidl we will buy some foods it's very hot in Greece actually it's I think it's the same vibes as well in the Philippines right now it's still 10 a.m. and the weather is 27 degrees and it's very hot who buys um, need water Right now, guys, Gwen is taking me somewhere to the center of the city, Corfu. Gwen already set her sun protection, as Filipino people do. Gwen is saying this city is quite similar as the cities in the Philippines. Like, very traffic, quite polluted. <laughs> but still, she likes this more than in the Czech Republic, she says. Gwen just decided it's better to buy some kind of head instead of wearing a dress rolled around her head. Gwen is trying to pick a head. <laughs> Fisherman, fisherwoman. Guys, can you hear that squeaking noise in the background? No, it's done. 
It's actually not the car brakes. This is like a insect yeah. with alarms or with sirens. We call it gangis in the Philippines. They start screaming since morning up until evening. It must be nice to live here. We are finally in the street of the old town and it truly really feels like the like the Greece finally. Like the architecture of the buildings. Not really wide streets, just the pavements. It's it's good. Yeah. One of the shocking moments as well for me is seeing the stores just beside the streets it's really normal and this one as well we have the same like that in the Philippines and almost um, all most of the products here are the same as in the Philippines and that's why I said like the vibes here are the same it's the same as in the Philippines so it's really amazing um, this time we are putting sunscreen very hot weather or temperature and yeah it's, 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 it's crazy like you can't imagine how hot here I think it's hotter than the Philippines, I guess, because it's dry, it's not humid, it's hot and dry. The other thing, I was feeling very hot wearing the black t-shirt, I just changed it to this light shirt. Here on the street and people were looking at me like, is he crazy? So I guess it's not okay to change your t-shirt in the city of Greece. No, I guess it's okay because as you can see in the city, even girls are wearing bra. Maybe because of the hot temperature. Yeah, but they are not showing their boobies. But still, I was showing my. So right now we are finally heading to the sea. It's been more than a year that I was that close to the sea. Hello, bro. What you got for me? Do you have the bread? No, I ate everything. Uh, Sorry. Come here. Here you can see a little port with those sheep, with those yachts. Clister clear water blue like the eyes Gwen wish me to have amazing we will try to explore it here downstairs it looks like abandoned a little but at least no people are here it's quite a struggle for us to explore with our baggage because our accommodation is still not ready they are not afraid of anything and Gwen can handle more difficult things than just one bag. Ooh. Oh my god, it's warm so much. I wonder what it was before. It could be like a school or what do you think maybe? Mm, I think it's like a municipality or something like that. Oh, it could be as well, municipality. It's actually not even school and not even municipality. It's a museum. Uh, museum of Asian arts. Maybe we will check that someday. Yeah. Because we have Asian here as well. Right now guys, we are done with exploring of the old town. We still have two more hours before our bus goes to the village where is our apartment. So we will get some lunch right now. We would like to find something traditional for Greece. We will take some rest in the restaurant or somewhere and then we will hit to the bus station. I look really sweaty guys because of the hot temperature again. But just my friendly advice, if you want to visit Kurfu, Greece in the future, make sure you are bringing enough money, or I mean you brought enough money, it's because you will be tempted to buy things here, especially about fashions, clothes, they have so much products here and it's really amazing. I can see like this in Czech, in Czech actually. And again, they have street vendors, street um, products, really amazing 
right now guys we found this lovely restaurant like it's called like a soul lucky gyros thank you and they just brought us our food <laughs> i guess none of us can finish that i have something like called chicken so lucky and gwen has chicken gyros mm -hmm. yeah. the plate is bigger than gwen <laughs> it is let's go to eat it Right now we got to our place, the city where we will staying. Wendy is looking for the address. It looks nice here. It's much more quiet than in that bigger city, the old town. So we finally find our recommendation. It's this white hotel. Now guys, let's move on a little bit to the future. Today is the, actually the last day of our stay here in Corfu Island. I wanted to make a review about our accommodation and make like also a room tour, but I did not want to make a review the first day when I did not know anything about the service, accommodation, everything, how it's going, but the last day and I can do it. So actually our accommodation is HB Hotel Benica, situated in the city Benica in the Corfu Island. If you are going to Corfu Island, we both with Gwen really recommend this place to stay. It's this white building. Talking about the price for this accommodation, we were staying here with Gwen for six days and we paid about 350 euros for six days which in my opinion is really good price here we are the entrance for our hotel here is the reception here is during the daytime here is always sitting the owner Sir Spiros very kind man very polite he is willing to help you with everything answer all your questions very kind and superman we had quite good conversation here in the first floor you can find the sofas where you can have some rest and also here is this room with the fridge with the kettle you can get a tea coffee some drinks like everything here inside it's pretty nice and clean even it's still old but if you take care of the old things, they can still provide very good service. Me with Gwen were staying in the third floor in our room. Here guys is our room. Actually it's just a one room plus bathroom with the CR together. We were not looking for a room with like a kitchen and all the stuff because we knew we will be traveling all the day. We will want to get our food somewhere in the restaurant. Here is the bathroom with the CR, shower, CR, sink, mirror, everything you need. There is a king sized bed, more than enough for me with Gwen. Little mirror, which doesn't fit to me but fits to Gwen because Gwen is here and I am here so I could not see myself this fridge kettle then we will move on here we had one wardrobe which is more than enough because me with Gwen we were going like easy backpacking like we did not have any check-in baggage we both just have one backpack of course air condition is included and trust me guys <laughs> you really want to have air condition here in Greece during summer June, July, August, September because during the day you are feeling like literally on a fire and at night it's really not enough just to open the window on the door you really need the air condition not all the time but before you want to fall asleep it's really good to have and as a really good plus we have a balcony here Gwen is chilling here, enjoying the view. As you can see, we don't have sea view or mounted view. We have something in between. In front of us, there are another hotels. But on the left, we have a little piece of the sea. But on the right, we have a stunning views to the mountains, which is also pretty amazing. 
and worth it to mention. Also on the balcony we had a table with two chairs and actually on those two chairs we've never spent an evening together with Gwen <laughs> because we were always busy. We came home 10 11 p.m went to sleep and getting up early in the morning for another adventures. One evening I spent here with entertainment called Uzo, which is actually national Greece drink, contains 40% of alcohol. Quite good. How do you like our room baby? How would you review this? I like this room. Um, the owner is very kind and hospitable. At the same time, they are very clean. I think every after two, two days, they're going to, to clean your room, which is really nice. Right now, guys, we are exploring the beaches here in the city we live. It's most of the time like public beaches, like so many people around. When it's right here, snorkeling. Or attempting to do snorkeling. In the upcoming days we are really planning to rent a motorbike or a scooter and find some places not that private and with more beautiful sea like the fauna of the sea and we will see how it will go so join us on this trip. I don't know why guys I'm like that but every time I'm in the sea I really need to wear like something, shoes or slipper because I'm afraid all of those things living there, plants, octopuses will bite me or something and Gwen is just like keen on that from the Philippines barefoot there she doesn't even mind to walk through these plants, everything but I'm really scared I'm not feeling ashamed because of that I'm just careful myself This time guys it's going to be evening Me with Gwen has to purchase a water because tap water is not recommended to be drink so we are trying to find bottled water after that we will get some dinner and we will get ready for the next day next day adventures we are done with dinner we did not make any video with Gwendy because we were a little bit annoyed we were waiting very long for meals and they forget to bring some of the meals like I understand it happens to the waiters they forget when I was working as a waiter I also forget many times but the waiting that's something I can't stand <laughs> we are here in the port checking the ships and dreaming about having one of those ships right yeah. hot People are spending and enjoying sunset here near the sea and we will join them and here we are guys the end of the first day in Greece this was like an introduction for you and for us as well how it is here how it works here and tomorrow We'll start the adventure. We hope you enjoyed this first part of the Greece trip of us. Thank you guys for watching of this video and our other videos. If you like, hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for other videos. See you next time.